Hi, this is Carol from Chocolate Crafts and Beers Oh My, and I wanted to share with you a project today that I just um, completed. It's a scrapbook album. I am not a scrapbooker, but I attempted this and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, mostly make cards and altered items and small mini albums, but I don't scrapbook. So um, you can get this at Michael's. I just added this here. And this is my uh, first page. Of course, this is the day he went into the Navy and the date he's retiring. Um, this gentleman has uh, served in the military for 30 years. And I did this first page with a Martha Stewart punch. And my husband gave me this special coin that is from this gentleman's command that uh, is very special. And uh, I put it in there so we can flip it to see both sides. Um, this is the first year of his military service. And I just put some stickles on there and did a Martha Stewart punch right there. This is a little um, anchor um, piece of jewelry that I got from uh, Michael's. And this is the complimentary side. I tried to do both sides with the same paper and actually the same uh, the colors and embellishments and that's on that. And here we have uh, the next one. And I did some banners and I have a Mother Stewart uh, anchor punch uh, that I used for the top. This is the second page. These are from the paper pad. You can journal on those. Use some bling. Uh, this is some banners that I created with to and from tags from the, the paper pad. I just covered it with paper and put stars over the top. This is Martha Stewart punches. Um, this is how uh, the second page of this layout looks. I tried to put the years whenever I could find them on the backs of the photos. These um, this is like a gold and navy blue and cream layout. This is a flag die from Sizzix with the stars that comes as part of the die and I just cut it apart to create that on top. And then I also got the small flags on this side. On this page we have the Martha Stewart punch around the page on the frames. This is a Cherry Lynn uh, die for the, the ferns, and those are recollection flowers. Martha Stewart down there as well. And this is a complimentary page. I'm going to move this a little bit to straighten it out. Sorry, I don't want to get it too jittery here. And on this one, we did navy blue and gold. I love how it looks. This is Cherry Lynn. This is the beautiful Spellbinders anchor die. I just love that. It, it cuts and embosses into that gold beautifully. And this is the second page to this layout. And we have this one right here. We have Sizzix die. We have uh, Marvy punch stars. We've got gold anchors from that Martha Stewart punch. And then a Martha Stewart border there. And this page complements that. And then this is one of my favorite pages. I'll say one of because there's several of them. This is uh, the Prima die. This is a Cherry Lynn die. This is just a paper doily. And then we use that same die here to complement that picture in the center. And then we have this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera a lot. Uh, this on the top is a Martha Stewart punch. And then I punched out three different size circles and layered them on each other. I had some uh, corrugated paper which gave it dimension and I layered them like that. I just love it. And I put it down here to complement the top. And I have that anchor over here. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I should probably just lay it down. You can see it better maybe on here. And this page. We had khaki in the uniforms. This is his son. So we used the craft on this. 
And we've got this side. And then um, I just put some banners here. Some more photos, stars. On this page we've got layered banners and a Martha Stewart punch and some bling. Sorry about that. We need a different uh, tripod, I think, with this page. And then this page, we did some rosettes on here. And this has like a flocked red paper. And then we've got this side. And then this is um, kind of some work pictures. And this is the last page that we did on here. And then what's really awesome is the back cover of this album. Really nice. Looks like a uniform. So thanks so much for looking. And uh, leave me your comments. I always enjoy them. And until next time, happy crafting.